Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this tutorial, we're gonna walk through setting up account linking in a custom Alexa skill, and we're gonna be using the Alexa account linking skill template. And um, we are gonna walk through, there's a few steps to do this, but the, uh, the high level steps are we're gonna set up the um, login with Amazon security profile, and we're gonna be using, users are gonna be logging into this skill uh, for the uh, the account linking purposes using their Amazon account. And once they log in and authorize, then we're gonna be able to have access to their username and their, uh, their email address. Uh, you could use any OAuth provider, so this could be Google or Twitter or Facebook or even your own if you wanted to do that. And it all works pretty much the same way, but uh, we're gonna use uh, login with Amazon for this example. So the first thing that we're gonna do is set that up. And then once that's set up, then we can move on and set up our skill to, uh, to use that as the authorization and authentication source. So um, we wanna start by just going to developer.amazon.com and we can do everything from here and then go to the developer console. And then in the developer console, we're gonna to go to login with Amazon. And I've already got a couple of security uh, profiles set up, but setting one up, and I'm gonna use this demo one that I already created, but creating a new one, you just wanna create a new security profile by clicking that button. You give it a name, you give it a description, a URL to your privacy policy, and then you upload uh, an image that is gonna be displayed on the authorization page so that users can feel comfortable with your brand. And um, that is pretty much it. Once you have that, then what you're gonna do, and we're gonna be working with this demo profile that I created, you wanna go into the web settings here. And in the web settings, um, we're gonna be using, we're gonna need this, the client ID, we're gonna need the client secret, uh, and then we're going to also set up the allowed return URLs. And, uh, and so we'll come back to, to this, and I'm showing this, you don't wanna show anybody your client secret for a production uh, skill, of course. Um, we'll, I'll reset this and change this after this, but, but in, in, yeah, you don't wanna share that. So, um, okay, let's go now over to the Alexa skill. So I'm in my, if you go to developer.amazon.com Alexa, and then to your uh, Alexa consoles, and then create a new skill. And um, the I'm just using a hosted skill for this. So uh, we'll do it all like right here within the Alexa consoles. And um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the account linking part. And so we're gonna do that over here under build. There's an option for account linking. And we need, uh, we need to first enable it. And so we'll do that and then um, by default, it enables this option to allow users to enable the skill without enabling account linking, which um, sounds kind of confusing, but basically what that means is the skill can be enabled and then they uh, will have the option or you can code in the option to prompt the user to enable account linking within the skill, which is definitely the better way to do it. It causes a lot less friction and you want users to be able to, to enable your skill and then you can tell them what they need to do to uh, set up the account linking part. Okay, uh, we're gonna need some, some things here. And so first we're gonna need an authorization URI and an access token URI. And I am providing that stuff, uh, those two pieces of uh, information in the, uh, the notes here. I'm gonna copy and paste them in, um, but you are gonna need to start with those which is this um, www.amazon.com slash AP slash OA. And then the next one is, let me copy it in here. This here, so api.amazon.com auth 02 and then slash token. And so next we need the client ID and the client secret. And those we're gonna get from our login with Amazon that we just sent up. So the client ID here, copy that. And we need the client secret, which is this here. Okay. 
And this we're going to leave alone. This um, client authentication scheme, we'll leave that to basic. And scope, this is the permission that uh, we're going to be asking for. And you can use, there's, I think there's three different levels of permission. You can use um, uh, profile, which is going to provide you with access to their username, email address, and I think the user ID. And then um, I believe the other one is called postal code. And this is going to provide you access to their postal code. And then um, you could also, so the user will need to authorize you during the uh, authentication process to gain access to their profile and postal code if you're asking for them in this scope here. You can also use, um, I think it's profile and then user ID to just get the user ID. And if that's the case, they won't need to authorize anything. You need to get rid of postal code here. but. Normally, if you're trying to get their username and email, you would probably just use profile. If in addition to that, you also need the postal code, then you would use postal code. And then the um, the domain list here is going to be the URLs that um, uh, actually you can leave that blank. Uh, what, down here is what we need next. We need the uh, redirect URLs. And so these are the URLs that we need to enable or enter into our um, login with Amazon for the allowed return URLs. So over here, the redirect URLs are going to become the allowed return URLs here. So we can edit this and just paste those three in. We'll add another one down here. And then the last one here. All right, and then we save. And so now we have everything that we need set up in our security profile and everything that we need set up over here for our account link. And so we'll save this. Uh, let's see. invalid authorization URL. I just had a space in there, so that should fix it. Okay, so now the, the skill is set up to use uh, account linking, but in the code, I don't even know what would happen if we test it here. I think it just wouldn't work. But let's see what we get. So um, we'll just say open demo skill. Welcome. You can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Okay. So right now, um, the we're just using the, uh, the the boilerplate code that is provided with the uh, default when you set up a an Alexa hosted skill. This is just the, the default. So what we want to do is we want to uh, replace this with the um, the template skill that is going to give us what we need. So this is part of the uh, Alexa account linking skill template. I'm going to just paste it in and just talk through what's going on here. Um, so in here we have um, Let's see, actually we need, okay, I'm also missing a, skip remote data URL is a function that we also need in here. Okay, so now, um, let me talk through what's going on in here. So what, what's going to happen is when the launch request happens, we're going to um, set this variable here uh, to the value of the, um, the access token if it's passed. And if the access token is not available or undefined, 
then we're going to prompt the user by saying that um, they need to authenticate using their Amazon account and that they can do that within the uh, companion app. Uh, and if we do find an access token, then we are going to make a call out to the uh, login with Amazon APIs to get the, uh, the, the user information back. And so this is how it's going to come back here. So in the profile, we've got the user ID, the email, uh, the name. And then because we also indicated that we wanted the postal code scope, we have access to that as well. So we're going to save this first and then deploy it and when it finishes deploying we can uh, we can test it out so I'm going to test it out first before I have account linking enabled and then we'll test it out with account linking so we'll go back over here and retest uh, so open demo skill Please use the Alexa Companion app to authenticate with your Amazon account to start using this skill. Okay, so now I'm getting that uh, that message from the first case there because there is no uh, token provided, access token. So now what I want to do is um, just go use the account linking, and you can do, actually do that from you can do that from the mobile app for uh, iOS or Android or whatever, but you can also do it from the web from alexa.amazon.com. And then uh, in here, I'm gonna go to skills and then my skills and then the newest skill is gonna be down at the bottom, I think, or maybe not. <laughs> Where is it? Um, dev skills, demo skill, here it is. And so you can see here that it's telling me that account linking is available and it would say something like that in the app as well. And then you can go to settings and then link account. And this is where you'll see all of the, uh, the setup for um, the, the whole process. So I'm going to just do that, sign in and demo profile would like access to my profile here. So it's showing and um, it's going to include my name and my email address and then zip code and I'll allow that and then demo skill has successfully linked and so now we can go back and test to see if it's working so hi Steve Tindiris I have your email address as Steve at so aside from the uh, not great pronunciation of my last name, it is all uh, it's all working. And on the pronunciation of my last name, it's Tingaris. And there's another tutorial that uh, that I did that talks through how to uh, how to uh, fix up Alexis pronunciation of stuff like that. But that's another topic. So um, uh, yeah, that's that's it. So that is using the uh, Alexa account linking skill template with uh, login with Amazon. If you have any questions, you can leave those and we will respond just as soon as we can. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks so much.